We're back here. So in the previous two videos, we talked about the vertex form and how to calculate different uh, quantities associated with that. And then in my other video, we did how to, we, we learned how to find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts. We have all that information. So I'm going to write all that information down and then we're going to use that information to graph this quadratic uh, equation. Okay. So the goal here is to graph. And in order to graph, we have already calculated all the essential uh, things that we need. So I'm here, I'm not just, I'm not calculating them again. That's already in my previous two videos. I'm just going to write those down and then we're going to use them. So what do I have? I have my value for A, which is 3, which tells me we have a min. We have a min. And which tells me that the graph, because it tells me that graph opens up, and if it opens up, then I have a minimum. We have a minimum. And what is the other point? Graph opens, opens up. Okay, it looks like this. That is A. Then number two, I have the coordinates for the vertex, which are uh, four and negative two. You can see them here and they have been calculated in my previous video. Then I have the axis of symmetry, which we already know in this case is, uh, what is the axis of symmetry? Um, it is x equals to uh, 4. And then uh, let us also write down the, well, we don't really need that. We already know the, it, it, there's going to be a minimum, but the minimum is going to be what? The minimum is going to be negative 2. Then the other two important pieces that we calculated in the previous video were what is the the y-intercept the y-intercept is uh, the y-intercept was this guy is 0 and 46 let me make sure yeah 46 and then finally the last one was the x-intercept the x-intercepts we had actually two x two x-intercepts and in this case we got a decimal so we got to work with the decimal so it was uh, 3.2 and 0 as a coordinate pair we have to write it as x first and y is going to be obviously 0 and the other one was what was uh, 4.8 and 0 okay guys we have all the information that we need in order to graph so here of course it's going to be a rough sketch if you have a graph paper and you should be actually doing this on a, on a graph paper on a grid paper so let's say we have the x and y axis okay and the first thing we want to identify i would say is uh, i don't think it really matters but i think i always like to start with the vertex so vertex is at four and negative two so let's say this is four and this is negative two so let's say this is my vertex v four and negative two obviously x is four so write four and y is negative 2 means I have to go down now this is my vertex and from here I already have the sense for the like the shape of the graph it's going to be like opens up because a is positive so it's going to open up right so but then I have other values that I know that I can use to actually uh, draw the graph so we know for drawing a line we just need probably just two points right if we have more that's fine but all we need is two points to draw the graph of a straight line. But when we are trying to draw this, these curves, starting with the quadratic function, which is the first nonlinear function, uh, if we have, I mean, we should have at least three points. Uh, having more points is always good, but at least we need three points to be able to draw, uh, three or four points to be able to draw a quadratic function. So I think here we have enough points for us to be able to draw this, this quadratic equation, okay? So let's use the x-intercepts. We have two points for x-intercepts. So one is, let's say this is my 3.2. Guys, this is all a rough sketch here. And then the other one is symmetrical. And it is symmetrical from 4. 3.2 is 0 0.8 away from the left. And 4.8 is 0 0.8 to the right. So that is my... Uh, and let me also draw the... Let us also draw that axis of symmetry, which goes through the vertex, right? And then there's one more point that I have here, which is the y-intercept 0 and 46. Let's say this is my y-intercept 0 and 46. So obviously there's going to be another one because the axis of symmetry and this is going to divide the graph into two symmetrical pieces. The graphs are symmetrical with respect to the axis of symmetry. So I think we have like 
we we started with this one two three four and we can also have one we can actually draw one point over here so we can now simply join these points smooth it's a smooth curve not a straight line so it's going to look something like this right, so this is the this is here it's a rough sketch it is not the exact one because i don't have a graphing paper here but you got the idea how to use the uh, vertex x intercepts and y intercepts so this is my 3.2 the x intercepts 4.8 and then this is my y intercept okay so guys this is how we actually graph a quadratic function now if this quadratic function is not in this uh, vertex form if it is in the standard form so you can still you still have to do the exact same work you have to calculate the a which is very easy you just compare it with the standard form and you can see the a then you have to do the work for h and k and we already have the formulas for h and k we find h and k that means we find the coordinates of the vertex then we find the y intercept x intercept and we plot the graph okay it's not too complicated it is a lot of work though because there's a lot of steps involved in graphing a quadratic function and uh, again guys you may also be able to draw or graph a quadratic function from if from a graphing calculator if you have one or if you are using one which is totally fine but one still has to know how to actually do these things without uh, without a graphic calculator as well okay so i'll stop here with this one and then i will see you in the next video with uh, some other concepts regarding the uh, quadratic functions because as i mentioned earlier it's like a very big unit it's a, one of the most important units in algebra pre-calc and it has so many applications and uh, we need this in a lot of other advanced math courses as well so we'll spend some time learning about many different types and looking into different types of examples from quadratic function section okay okay guys uh, take care and i would like you to, i would i would like to tell you guys to kind of keep on practicing problems guys uh, that's how you become confident and you become better at uh, at